Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina EDC. As seen the title video, we got a new product from the guys at Ellen Gear Holsters. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you follow me for a long time. I've been a big, big fan of Ellen Gear just for the versatility and how affordable they are and compatible to many, many firearms as well as light bearings. <clears throat> now, this is the new Photon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, the Photon is uh, inside the waist holster and also can be used as an outside uh, uh, the waist holster. Now this is configured right here, as you see it, for appendix carriage style uh, holster here that you can use, uh, you know, and, and just pretty much configure however you like it. Uh, so many ways, configuration, you can do it. You can do it without, uh, this is with the side card, which gives you extra magazine to carry appendix. And it's versatile, so it can be switched from left or right-handed. It also can be adjusted for cannon and and height and everything. However you like to, however it feels comfortable for you. You got many options and many uh, adjustability for this holster. Like I said, this is can be changed from inside the waist to outside the waist by removing the side card and just switching this from left to right and using the um, the uh, accessories that you can get separately as well. Now they do make this for non-bearing pistols, so if you don't have a light, uh, you can uh, use it without the light as well. It's optic ready cut, as you can see. And with the, uh, if you have some high rise or suppressor high sights um, on your pistol, it's compatible, so it's able to be able to use. Now the bottom is not quite open, but it is a little bit open, so that keeps from any kind of debris or anything going inside and just falling right through, which is always good. I switch it was a little bit more wider so in case you have a you know a composite or something you can uh, still be able to use it or thread a barrel which with a third barrel you probably be able to you know stick it through there i'm not sure yet but uh this was gonna be uh for the glock 19 this is a gen 4 glock 19 just nothing uh fancy about this and as you can see uh this one came with the nice stick and i think the model of this is tcm 550 xl which is a very nice light very bright very uh, affordable as well for nice stick so they kind of uh, collaborate with nice stick and other um, uh, light manufacturers um, I'll put not below and couldn't find a list of what lights are compatible but for, for sure the nice stick I know the TLR 7 uh, light is also compatible with this and maybe some other ones in that nature as far as a compact size light like this not a full size and it's flush with the um, you know, the end of the slide like this uh, should be somewhat compatible with this holster. Now they did send this with a nice case here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not saying it's coming this way from them, but it included this holster and also uh, the nice stick light. And also, like I say, you can get it for the outside of the waist. And again, it comes with the extra hardware where you can make this inside the waist and you carry this uh, kind of off to the three, four o'clock position, which I really like. And we'll be trying this one as well. And like I said, uh, there's many, many options available uh, depending on what pistol you like for Glock pistol, six hour or anything of that nature. Sorry about that. And you can just check the website. Again, there's a link down below where you can check and see what uh, options they have available for this holster. Now, uh, very slim, very nice slim holstered uh, again very a uh, lot of adjustability cannon uh, you can move it up and down you can remove this now it did came with a claw which i'm not a big fan of claw so i automatically removed it i just not a big fan of claws on any kind of inside the way holster but it does flex a little bit where you can uh, shape it around your body and again it's got this nice uh, clips here which you can again switch it from left to right if you left in it you can do it this way just flip the uh, clips on the other side and you'll be good to go all right so we're gonna try this again we'll try the first one with the inside the waist and then we'll try the outside waist on the belt and just kind of give your attention again the retention is gonna be on the light now one thing I did notice when I first got it it was a little bit hard to uh, draw from it but it just need to be holster in holster back and forth just kind of wear the codex or not the codex but the injector modem uh, uh, holster here which again is the retention is going to be on the light but as you can hear it's not going anywhere got a nice positive uh, click to it and everything which everybody likes I mean uh, everyone will be able to notice when the holster is clicked in and again um, 
that's just something again you got the adjustment here for screw for retention as well which you can uh, adjust that to your liking and yeah that's pretty much it very affordable uh the holster by itself starts around 50 and on up you can get the sidecar for about 30 bucks if i'm mistaken and again it's compatible to double stack and then uh any other pistol available on their website as you can check and see all right enough talking let's step up to the range take some shot draw from it and see how well it works so stay tuned all right guys well if we start shooting i wanted to say thank you to Nautilus ammunition for being a sponsor for the channel for ammo without then none of this possible so make sure to check those guys down below and the discount code we can get some free shipping all right let's step to the range and start shooting all right guys so we got the whole on. this is what it looks like uh as you uh follow me for a long time appendix is not something that works for me very well especially having a dad bar whatever to refer to or a little bit of gut uh it's not very comfortable for me but uh this is slim enough to be some comfortable again this is going to my preference whatever works for me it may work for you if it's slimmer it'll be perfect for you as well but as you can see it does stick out a little bit right here in the front i usually wear baggy shirts and everything but the grip does stick out and that's due to the uh, like i said before i did remove the claw it could push a little more fall into my belly as well as the uh, midsection of the uh, mac carry and the holster where it's going to configure and bend to my shape the more you wear it, it's going to be probably more better but again for me for my preference i want to be able to be able to able to grab that grid get a good purchase on it i really don't like it too close to my body because kind of interfere with my drawing but anyways enough talking let's uh put a few rounds and see how well uh, it works. All right, here we go. All right. Now, one thing I have to say is if you wear an appendix, a lot of time, if you wear a belt with a big bulk in the front, it could interfere and be more uncomfortable. So in that case, for me, what I usually do is turn the side or the bulk of the, of the belt to the side and kind of give me a clean uh, uh, front where I can adjust and move my, and position my holster wherever I like. So again, use it however you like it, but make sure you get a good belt. Check out Core Essential discount code down below. Here we go. Let's see how many rounds I got left. All right, that's my last one. So I do have a magazine. So we're going to do a mag change. See how well I can do. All right, here we go. All right, not bad. So we can do that again. bad again like i always say uh make sure you practice however you carry uh it's common sense just make sure to you know do some drawing at home of course with an empty mag empty gun be safe out there and practice clearing your garment or whatever else uh you carry uh here we go Ah, a little sloppy there, but again, I can draw from it. Reholster, it is not too, too bad. Again, being that it's appendix, I'd rather have on my three o'clock position. That's my favorite spot. That's how I carry it all the time. Uh, appendix is something again it doesn't work for me it may work for you it just all comes to preference uh if you care if you worry about you know not printing uh make sure to keep the claw on it again i'm not prefer the claw because 
this way I can get a good purchase on my firearm and draw from it without any issues. Uh, printing to me, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it cannot be that crazy, but this is not too bad. I can always uh, adjust it or wear more baggy shirt, which I typically do during the summer. But on that, as far as the holster go, uh, it's not too bulky. Like I said, slim. Uh, I can sit down with it. I've uh, been playing around with it at home, drawing from it, adjusting the retention how I like it. Again, you can do that with the magazine and the firearm and, and just, uh, you know, adjust it to your liking. Uh, again, I really don't like too deep consuming because it's not comfortable for me. And also, it gives me a better uh, purchase on a weapon when it's taken out a little farther past my belt line. Uh, again, you can adjust it however you like it. There's so many adjustments available for this. Again, left hand or right hand, it can it, not can, straight forward, up, down, however you like it. You can do this with this holster. And again, it's very slim, it's not real bulky. And again, it all comes to preference. As you can see, the pistol grid does stick it out. Again, that's because I don't have the claw, which is it pushes the fire a little bit more closer to your body. Again, I don't like that because I can do appendix with a little bit of gut that I have here. It interferes with my drawing. So again, I'd rather have that capability to be able to draw my firearm and not interfere with anything. All right, enough talking. Let's uh, try the outside of the ways band on the battle belt. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So now we have the outside of the ways. Again, this comes with a paddle. And you can also, oh, I think it does come with the hardware where you can uh, swap it out to the inside of the ways, left hand or right hand again. You can adjust the can and all that. Uh, we have it on this battle belt that I'm reviewing. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyways, again, if you're looking to build your battle belt and just have a range uh, holster just to be out in range and shooting, again, uh, this is the one you want to go. Very affordable and very nice. All right, let's go ahead and get the firearm ready and just do some drawing from it. Here we go. So, so far, so good. Again, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did have some issues with retention. It was too tight. Uh, with the retention, uh, again, is on the light. Uh, it was kind of uh, kind of wearing away the inside material and getting on the light, wearing the light here a little bit. But now that I have drawn it a lot, a lot, and adjusted the retention, I'm able to draw it nice and smooth with no issues. But uh, let's go ahead and... Do some uh, some more shooting and mag chains here. Ah, right, here we go. See if we can uh, switch this mags around. Ah, right, here we go. All right. Again, very easy to drop from it. No issue, very smooth. Again, reholster is not bad at all. Again, uh, a lot of people are more proficient and expert when it comes to holstering. I'm still learning and learning more on how to reholster without looking, but that's something you have to practice and, you know, proficient in it. All right, here we go. What do I think by the new rig or holster from Ellen Gear, the Photon, or however you pronounce it? Sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. But again, like Ellen always coming out with some great holster that gives everybody the option to get one and work for anybody if you're left handed or right handed. So many options of adjustment. As you can see, you can bring this up higher if you want to 
deep concealment or bring it up for better my preference better purchase of the fire and grip and again you can can it left right up down however you like it uh be able to adjust it just like any other holsters out there that uh they have the retention of holster here adjustment you can do so with this again you can flip it you can uh remove the side card you got the claw which you can remove or leave it on if you, like i said and you can turn this into inside or outside the waist just like you're seeing right here on my hip which i really like and definitely keep it on this belt here but uh other than that i like it uh the belt um accessory for this holster is gonna be again uh almost like a paddle type uh rig where you can take it on and off easily uh and if you're only wearing it for uh you know concealed carry or whatever in the winter time and you would like to have a firearm outside of the waist if you were to coat something and be able to draw the weapon easier uh this is one of the holster but very slim again very very slim and I really like how it works. Again, as far as light compatibility, so far as I know, it's still R7 and the uh, nice stick, which I have on this right now, uh, works just fine. Nice retention, it's not going anywhere and just got positive retention on it and it works very, very nice. Again, very slim. And again, it all comes to preference how you want to carry, but many options available and very inexpensive at that. So check the links down below, check out all the other holsters. Again, I'll note that here, the Rapid Force Duty Holster, if you're in law enforcement, security, or anything of that nature, just want a level two or three retention light bearing holster, they do have those available as well. Check out the new kits available as well from LN Gear. All right, guys, I appreciate LN Gear for all this man. Please support the channel. Make sure, again, to check the link down below where you can purchase one. Using that link kind of gives me a little kickback, helps the channel that way. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, like, turn the notification bells, so you know what new videos and new products like this will come on the channel a lot more to come on 2023 i appreciate all the new subscribers all the followers and if you're not following me on instagram you're missing out on upcoming videos on when to know when new videos drop out as well there is a link tree in my bio on my instagram where you can click and it gives you a lot of discount codes for many other products available as well and again check out all the codes down below for ammunition free shipping and all that cool stuff all right guys that's pretty much it as usual Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next one. Goodbye.